dos latinas. We are right here at Atkin, Texas. Hacienda Santa Maria. The Hacienda everyone needs to come and visit. I am right here with Casey Luna and today we are going to get to know who is Casey Luna. Well, hi, Juanita. How are you? Wonderful. I am so excited. I am delightful that I'm right here with you at your beautiful, beautiful hacienda. So I, wanna, I want you to tell the world a little bit about Casey. Well, my name is Casey Luna. I'm 36 years old. I am a wife, a mother of four kids. I have four beautiful kids. Um, I grew up here at this ranch. Uh, we have horses. Uh, Right now, our main priority is the bloodline of the Andaluz. And uh, these horses are beautiful, but they require so much attention, Bonita, so much attention. It's right up your alley. They're beautiful horses, beautiful animals. And well, we fell in love. Uh, my dad bought a horse when I was maybe 13, 14 years old. And since then, we have just been buying and buying horses. We've been breeding horses. Here at this ranch is where we have the, the Andaluz. We have our Cementales, our main stallions that we breed here. We have 10 and we have lots of babies coming this, uh, this next year. And we're, we're excited. We're excited to uh, invite people into our ranch to come and see what we have. Um, we have uh, Lienzo Charro here in the front. You can see it from the highway. Uh, excited to show the people a, a little bit more about our ranch, a little bit about my life. And well, I'm, thank you so much, Bonita. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for being here with us. This is your home. Anytime you wanna come, we are here. And I absolutely love it. And the reason why is because every time that I come to Hacienda Santa Maria, I completely disconnect myself from everything and everyone, <laughs> Casey. Yes. This is so peaceful. As everyone knows, my new passion is horses. And when I met Casey, it was like I knew her all my life. Casey has the same thing that I have, which we have one thing in common. We're very passionate. passionate. We are very passionate for horses. You're passionate about many things, Casey. Oh yes, I love the horses, number one. I'm passionate about my family more than anything. Family comes first, but I am passionate about music, I love to sing, I love to dance, I love to grab the, the broom and dance with the broom while I'm cleaning. Um, just living my life to its fullest. Living your life to the fullest. Now, I understand that you are a songwriter. Yes, I have many, many songs, English, Spanish. Um, so excited to share with everybody. I'm so excited. I also understand that you do have a, a CD that is getting ready to be released very soon. Tell me a little bit about the music behind the CD. Well, this CD is going to feature some of my songs that I have already done. Um, I first recording that I did, I was 15 years old. And it was when I was barely coming into, do I want to sing mariachi? Do I want to sing cumbia? What is it, what is it that I want to do? But I found that I, I'm most happy doing the, the traditional rancheras, mariachi, musica de banda. I'm passionate more, you know, anything that has a, ry a rhythm for my horse to dance. <laughs> that's right, that's right. You know, right now, there is a lot of different kind of music, like you just yes. finished saying, mm -hmm. there's rancheras, there's cumbias, there's tejanas, tejanas. there is the charra music. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just so many different kind of mm -hmm. tunes. Yes. So it is very important for people to get educated, like myself. Mm -hmm. I need to get educated, A, about the difference about horses, yes. because there's different kind of horses. Obviously, when uh, I come here, I'm in love with every single one, mm -hmm. but it's just not about loving horses, because every breed has its own way of taking care of, correct? Absolutely, yes. Uh, for the Escaramusa, I ride in the Escaramusa, we use quarter horses. Those, rec they're not so high maintenance. Obviously you have to feed and you have to brush and you have to bathe your animals, but it's not the same kind of care that you would require for an Andalusian horse. Andalusian horses, they require 
uh, to bra brush their hair more often because their hair is so long and can get tangled so much easier. Um, they, they move around a lot, so their stables have to be big enough for them to move around. Um, they're, they're, they look for just anything that they can get into. They're moving around constantly, they're in their stable. They'll rub up against the wall to itch wherever they can grab an itch. They are beautiful, beautiful animals, Juanita, and I'm so excited to share this with you. Absolutely. So the new phase of those Latinas is going to be about telling a story behind everything that has to do with horses, mm -hmm. especially all about Casey Luna, mm -hmm. about her music. We're going to have the opportunity to feature her songs, the music that she has written, mm -hmm. because everything that she will be singing is the music that you have written before, correct? Yes, the majority of it. But I do have a few peekaboos that are going to be coming out. So um, I'm excited about that as well. It's, it's, I try to base a lot of my songs on things that I've already experienced in my life. And music for me is an outlet. So I'm, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm thrilled and I'm excited, Juanita, to share all of this with you. Absolutely. Well, you're going to share it with the world. Yes. <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited about learning, mm -hmm. but I am more excited about being able to share you with the world because Casey sings like an angel. I mean, Thank her you. voice is that kind of music, like many artists out there, that you listen to and you don't want to stop listening to the music because it is so beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Just, I believe that you just have that touch of love, of passion, the way you just bring the voice out to the world. So I think that's very important to bring in front of the whole world, mm -hmm. in yes. front of everyone. All right, so tell me a little bit about your father's business. I do understand that you guys breed the horses, but how does that work? Tell us a little bit about, exact, for an example, if I want to come here and buy a horse. So here, when you come to our ranch, we're going to give you a tour. We're going to show you where we have our main stallions for breeding. We're going to show you where we have our yearlings. Then we have an area where we have the, the mares with their, with their babies. And um, just based on if you want your horse to have papers or not have papers, it's, it's uh, really up to you what you're looking for. Some, horse, some horses, um, like I said, some horses they'll have their mane longer than others. Some of them will be uh, taller and slimmer. Some of them will be taller and, and fatter. It's just really your preference, what you're looking for in an animal. For an example, for someone like Lorena Monroe, mm -hmm. that now I'm so passionate about horses. I mean, I would walk into this ranch, I don't want to buy one. I mean, I don't own one pair of shoes. I own close to a thousand pair of shoes. I would want to buy. We have them. We have. <laughs> I want to buy many horses. Okay, Casey. <laughs> I mean, how do you determine on buying a horse? Well, it, like I said, it's just a personal preference. It's just you come, you see this horse. If it's trained, we'll get on the horse. We'll show you how he moves, how he works, what he can do. Um, you get to see his temperament. Um, you get to see where we have him, his stable where he you know hangs out on a daily basis um just anything any questions that you have mostly i have all the paperwork with me so um, most of the time i'll be here showing you the animal the beautiful thing about casey luna is she will take the time to educate you about what you want mm -hmm. she will customize and design anything you want mm -hmm. from the style mm -hmm. of the horse to the behavior of the horse. Yes. Because that is mm -hmm. all in the breeding of what kind of yes, horse you're gonna breed lines. with what, in the bloodlines. That's amazing. Oh my goodness, Casey. You don't know how thrilled I am knowing that this is right here in San Antonio, Texas. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are like down right the street outside. from San Antonio, Texas. Yes. From Atkin, Texas mm -hmm. to San Antonio, Texas, we're probably about 10 minutes, 20 minutes away, mm -hmm. which is very close. Mm -hmm. How do, you, how do you feel about me learning my first class? Oh, you did great. Great, great, great. I'm so excited for you. I know that we are going to conquer many things together, <laughs> especially riding horses. Yeah. Before you know it, Lorena, you're going to be punteando con tu caballo. <laughs> <laughs> so what I love this is that yesterday I showed up at the um, Alamo Charro Association. Mm -hmm. Casey was performing. Tell us a little bit about your performance. So yesterday we were a part of the Fiesta Charreada with the Escaramuzas. 
It's something that's an annual event, a very, very beautiful family event. It was kind of hot, you know, sunny, long day, but it, it's a beautiful event. Um, guys, if you haven't been to San Antonio, you definitely need to visit San Antonio because you guys are missing out. <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful. It was an experience for myself. Mm -hmm. I've lived in San Antonio for 35 years, and of course, I've been to many charreadas, but never been to a charreada where I knew someone that was performing. Oh, okay. And that was you. Mm -hmm. So I actually knew Casey Luna, and that put the cherry to the pie <laughs> because it was amazing. I mean, it's just going in there and watching you perform, but just the beauty and the charisma of every horse that was there was incredible. Mm -hmm. It's like, how long does it take for you to practice a performance like that? Well, we practiced, uh, I practiced with them, it was two weeks. So we had uh, maybe four or five practices. That's a lot, mm -hmm. that's a lot because, I mean, I can, I can see every horse knew exactly what mm -hmm. to do. I mean, and there was just so many horses at once, yes. not one horse stepped in front of another mm -hmm. horse. No. It was absolutely beautiful. It looked like watching a movie. <laughs> it was just perfect. Just the turn and go around and, the music and just the feeling oh, and yes. uh -huh, everybody absolutely. knew and the, and the beautiful girls were dressed to impress with their dresses. Tell me a little bit about the dresses. Well, the dresses are traditional Adelita dresses. Um, they, ideally, it's eight girls on a team. You're supposed to wear the same hats, same dresses, same everything, same boots. Everything has to be the same, all the way down to the attire, all the way down to the attire. So. Um, like the tack for the horses, the pecho pretal, the cincho, todo tiene que ser igual. Everything has to be exactly the same. And then so when we go to compete, we are judged on our timing, on our spacing, on our distance, you know, how far we are from the horse, if we're speeding up when we're supposed to speed up. Um, it's, it's a lot of time that you got to put into it. It's money, but you know what? I enjoy it. I love it. It's something that I'm passionate about and um, it's, it is a beautiful, beautiful event. Now, does everyone understand why I chose <laughs> Casey Luna to be a part of those Latinas? Why? Because she's got so much to offer, so much to give, and the show Those Latinas is going to be all about educating people everything that has to do about ranches, horses, breeding, and everything that has to do about Casey Luna's music. Casey, what advice would you give a young, beautiful girl out there that wants to be a rancher? To work hard, more than anything. Work hard, uh, help your family as much as you can. You know, I'm here with my dad, we, we Believe it or not, we have 50 acres and we have to feed all these animals. So we have to bale the hay and we are here all night. We are here all night picking up hay bales. And to me, it's, it's so tiring and you, you get exhausted from doing all the ranch work, but it's either you do it or your dad does it, or you do it or your parents do it. So um, it's just, hang in there work hard that's that's really the only thing that i can say is work hard because you know you you working hard you you feel proud of seeing the fruit of your work you accomplished yes so what casey mm -hmm. is saying do not give up do not give up work ever hard. Mm -hmm. work hard be passionate about everything that you do mm -hmm. i also understand that you guys have other ranches mm -hmm. where you also hold another set of horses, correct? There we uh, let the mares loose, the pregnant mares will let them loose so they can graze and they can, you know, uh, get the exercise that they need. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, Casey. Wonderful, Casey. Well, I would like to invite everyone to follow us through social media. It's very simple. Instagram Bonita Productions. All of this is going to be through Bonita Productions USA through Instagram, and you're gonna be able to see all of these wonderful segments through Bonita Productions on Facebook and youtube.com. Search 
Bonita Productions, and you're gonna be able to see all of this beautiful production, behind the scenes, a little bit of everything that has to do with those Latinas. Casey, thank you so much for allowing us to be right here at your beautiful ranch. I absolutely love it. I don't want to leave, but I want to be able to ride the horse before I go back home today because that's <laughs> what I look forward to. So look us up, follow us because you're going to see me actually learning how to ride horses and everybody needs to know I don't know how to ride horses. Never, <laughs> never have ridden horses, but I'm passionate. I am crazy about this new sport and I am more crazy about listening to Casey Luna's music that we are going to be having through here at every, every episode that we're going to have. You're going to be sharing a song, correct? Yes. Casey? Yes. Would you like to share a little bit of your, one of your songs? Yes. One of the, the song that I'm going to share with you is Dos Banderas, uh, first few lines. Nací en Estados Unidos. Y al mariachi amo yo. Mis raíces son mexicanas y mis banderas son dos. Beautiful. <laughs> You're going to hear the entire song and many other songs through Dos Latinas. Thank you for being right here with us with Dos Latinas. Hasta la vista. Me preguntan mis amigas cuando me voy a casar Nunca, nunca les contesto, amo mi libertad Si te tienen en la casa y te vas a quedar Limpiando y cocinando y ni las gracias te darás Amo mi libertad Te tratan 